Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I plan to you that how I adjust this Toyota Camry's handbrake cable. And if, do you have also handbrake in Toyota Camry what moves like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 those uh, small steps what keep sound. And normally there should be those steps only 6 to 8. 6, 7 or 8, that means that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is, is good amount. But now I have even more like 14. Okay, and that means that now I need to thicken this, this uh, my cable and this work start in that point if you have automatic transmission and in that point we need first tool what is this small screwdriver and there is hint that I need to insert this my my tool in just in here like in that corner and a little bit carefully in, I insert that in in here and then I bend this little bit and this opens so nicely and then I insert my fingers in here and idea is to take in that area first up and, and when this is so up only then this one because there is small joints this kind of joints and if we pull out in that area also then this this uh, joints could can damage and next step is then to take this power button, this this uh, wire out, and now as we can see, it is a little bit interthick, and I take new U. Okay, okay, and then when I take this cover in a little bit in here, then it should be I change this gear. And there is the switch, this plug, what I need to open. And there is now this thing that that when we rotate, and in here is small area, this pressing uh, this plate, and I need to press that, that this, this part opens. And same time when I press, I need to pull that out, and, in the, and it happens so that I press, and then I take my fingers, and a little bit and now it it opens this cable this is this normal and there is this part and it is very good condition no any there are those small clip, clipper pin in there and and here are those joints what I told but be careful okay and that this one is Okay, and here is this cable, and there was this press press area in here. That I need to press that. Okay, and next step is that there is two two of those uh, screws. What I open next, and for that we need screwdriver, crosshead, and there is this kind of normal. Normal Toyota screw, very easy to open. By the way, these Toyota's products are are so interesting because these parts are so high quality and so easy to open. And that I always I think that, that it's so nice. Okay, and then when this those two screws are away then we walk in here a little bit this that area in here okay and then we look in this back area where is this box and in in just in this end of this box there is two two bolts in here I I have here now it's in here here is one bolt in here and and in here is one bolt. And you need socket. What size is is this 
13 millimeter is the size and, and here is the size 13 millimeter and that that socket in here this fits to those end bolts now I am there is two there is a second and first I take that out my tool a little bit of rotation then I use my hand actually it, it is so thick that I need to use this tool Okay, is this now open? Not yet. There is there is much of this. Okay, and now it's finally here. Okay, and there was this kind of bolt in there, quite long quite long bolt and and then in second this other side there is similar okay and then when I have take this bolt away we continue okay and now there is the second bolt it is in here and it is in here and now we have take those two bolts away and now this console moves quite easily and we can start to take that out okay and now this console is moving quite nicely and then we need a little bit insert that breaking grip in up and then there is idea that I only take that part in, in here in this way and I, I move that put that up and same time I move that in a little bit reverse and then this this part in here that part opens automatically and I pull that in a little bit back and then I only move that a little bit up and then we have those heaters these cables and it, it is easy to take so that that in here we a little bit move that in this way this is easy way and then when this cable comes in here there is again this Toyota idea that, that I, I need to insert that in here and then my small screwdriver in here and then when I little bit move in that that area in that area in here and then I pull pull out that Is it so that I need in here a little bit? Yes, this is I, I need to. There is this part. Okay, now it opens. Yes, this part was a little bit different to open the normal this part, but but it, it opens finally okay good and then I can leave this this hood package out okay and now we have this handbrake in here and we can go to look this handbrake cable closer what is by the way in here this in here and we look closer okay and then when this handbrake is in here this is a break and and there is this uh, small rubber this blade but we move a little bit open in here in that part this part is this this uh, handbrake adjusting uh, cable and and then I think that 
a little bit move that tube that we can see this cable better in side area. Okay, and then there is idea that there is two bolts together. And this upper bolt is locking bolt, what we need to open first. And for that, that opening, we need this uh, 10 millimeter French and it, it fits in there and I open first that upper bolt. There is two bolts. Okay, first first is locking bolt and I rotate that a little bit and then I I need to Okay now I need to take another tool because this this pillow Below bolt moves also, and I insert that my 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 friends in that area, and I take second socket. What size is again 10 millimeter, and and I insert now this upper. This there's two bolts, and and then I keep that. This pillow friends keeps this pillow bolts in place and then I can open this this upper upper bolt. What is this locking locking bolt? Locking bolt, okay. And then I think that I can now this locking bolt is moving. It's there and we can look maybe closer. And there is this locking bolt, and I don't need to take that locking bolt totally out, because this pillow bolt is the most critical, but now I am moving. And this, this is this handbrake adjusting, adjusting this bolt, and, and it, when I start to adjust this bolt, I, I need to first release this, uh, this handbrake in this down area like in here it is now in down and then I can start to thicken this lower port in that way and there is idea that I, I take my friends and then I only little bit move that and and now it takes contact and, and actually this wire moves quite fastly and now when I rotate that quite soon, like I think five times I move that in and now I thicken this handbrake cable and then I can start to test this cable that how this works and we look that next okay and now I test this handbrake that how many clicks this works one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine I need to Tick a little more because I need this. I, like seven is good. And if I tick then that too much, then our rare rare area breaks can be locked. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, even more. Even more thick than in. Okay, and okay, and let's check what is now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, take this and then even more. Even more. Bit of rotation. Okay. Then test one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, now it is adjusted, and then I press the cable. And now this this cable is set up well, and then I need to insert this locking bolt. This is important. I rotate that bolt, and I it goes in down. This locking bolt in here 
and, and then when it goes down, now it takes contact, then I need to insert that my friends in here and then I need that my socket. Socket and I insert that in back and I take the now this upper bolt and I keep only my hand in this pillow and I take the and, and this idea is that when I when I tick then that in this way then this locking bolt and this adjusting don't move anymore. Okay now it's nice and I test that again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay good. Okay and then then when we install these things back, first step is to start to this Assemble so that I insert this this console. What is in here? This big console. And the console goes so that that it is in here. And there is one bit that I would like to show. And first one was this that I need to insert this cable. And I take different view. Okay. And first one was that I need to take this cable in here because I need to insert this and I, I use my hand and place this cable and then I then I insert this switch what fits in there nicely and small click and then I press that press that down actually on opposite side yet yeah, this is the right way now it's in there, and then second step is that little bit upper that grip, and it, then I insert that grip in here. Out, and, and then next step is important. Here is two. Here is these two holes in here, in holes, and I need a little bit more that that my console this direction is not in that level and small angle like 45 degree and then I, I move and I move that console in to front and now it's in there and then we check that okay there are two two those screw places and then we need to also insert this console there is this console and there was those two these bolts but I need to insert in there down and this flashlight is usable in that work and and then then I need to of course insert I saw this a little bit faster okay. Okay, and here, here is this nice groove and it, it goes there Second screw goes in that hole. And then I tick them those in my screwdriver. In that way, in here, this is the cover. And this cover goes so that first in, in, in that way. And then we have this cable in here and this cable goes in that book in only one way. It's easy to and then we listen this clip sound. Now there's clip sound. And then this this also in that angle in, in those joints. And then I press that down and now it, it went nicely. Okay, and then the final part is that I here is this this uh, this bolts, and I need to pick them these bolts in here, and and then then this job is 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 ready. Okay, and thank you for watching this video.